Hey, yabba dabba do Yo, we got some information for you tonight. Ooh, 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 it's Nelly. An exciting night. Ooh, it's going to be a yabba dabba do time tonight. We were in Orlando, Florida today. I want to say the ride over was an hour and 15 minutes. Not too shabby. However, the ride back due to accidents and just fools driving the way fools drive, it was two hours and 14 minutes. So peak traffic too, just peak traffic. Time. And plenty traffic, plenty, plenty, plenty traffic. But uh, we made it. Uh, we're uh, back at the studio and uh, somewhat safe and somewhat sound. Uh, Ollie Boy missed us today from what we can see. He mm. was sitting on his towel by the front door looking out. Uh, as we drove up Aww. so he was ready to rumble yeah. wanted to play b-a-l-l -L. and he missed his mommy and daddy that's true papa and mama very true very true today is day one five six yeah and and just remember that day and remember the uh a uh, 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 number of uh consecutive robin lives and you remember this, Chris Johnson, 521 consecutive Ooh. rock and roll days with Rob Lynn Live. And it is Saturday, the 27th day of January in 2024. And you're watching Rob Lynn Live with Ali. No wonder. All right. Let's talk a little about today. We'll talk a little about Orlando. We'll talk a little about meeting up with the Chris Johnson. We took plenty of pictures. We got videos. We went live. Woo! We had a blast. And I got a chance to meet uh, a couple of the parents of some of our founders, nice. which was very nice. Very nice. And got to meet a whole pile of founders. There was about 65 in attendance. Wow. Look out, Georgia. You're going to have to go to round two to catch up to that baby. Mm -hmm. 65 for lunch at, well, not Ash's restaurant, but because you can get anything you want at Ash's restaurant. But it was Golden Corral, Orlando. Uh, we got there for breakfast because we wanted to leave early. Breakfast was okay, but lunch was killer. Lunch was very good. We tried to monitor the amount of calories we were taking as we were stuffing our faces. And the carbs. carbs. Yeah, we kept the carbs down to a bare minimum. But you know what the nice thing is? They have a selection. So if you're on a keto diet or if you're on a carnivorous diet, Marty, this is right up your alley, pal. Uh, and the not, fortunately, the cakes and the pies and the ice cream and the they've even got an icy machine. They're off to the side. So the easy way to do it is go round the horn and miss that stuff. So yeah, just close your eyes, put on blinders. However, we did do the soft serve. Uh, yogurt. Just a I must say, little bit. I didn't have much. Just milked it. I ate a whole dish. Oh, <laughs> as did uh, Stacy and Rich. As did Miss uh, Lisa. Mm -hmm. All right, but they didn't eat the. Oh, wait a minute. Stacy ate the cone. Stacy ate the cone. <laughs> All right. All in good fun. Uh, 8 a.m. today brought us Oh Yes India with Sifu Francis, uh, Michelle Comstra, and of course. Christian Tiazone, Mr. Microphone. Mm -hmm. And at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Straight Talk, live from Orlando, Florida, it was Rob and Lynn on Straight Talk. Straight Talk. We did a Straight Talk on Facebook. We walked around. We got to talk to some people. Well, we talked to everybody. And for some reason, I got lost. Uh, Lynn was still doing the live, and I'm off in the corner yeah, talking to like four happened? or five different founders. I was like, what happened to you? Are you supposed to help me with my live? <laughs> I kept well, I was that. helping. I was keeping the troops <laughs> occupied. Uh, At any rate, it was good to see Chris Johnson. Good to meet him. We got a few pictures. It was all good. Got to meet his dog, Bella. And cute, she's a cutie pie dog. Cutie pie. And Lynn was fortunate enough to step in an ant pile. A red ant pile. Good going, Lynn. First Way to go. Ever stepped into an ant. Well, I'm not really familiar with red ants in the first place, but I was like, oh, what's that on my feet? It was stinging, and I didn't know what it was. I was in shock. I'm like, oh, what is that? And I looked down, and there's these, all these little animals on my 
ankle and biting me. Ooh, ooh. Wow. All right. Well, that's over with now. So no more <laughs> ant bites. No more bug bites. Let's talk about it. 12.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Along came Red. Along came Chris. Along came Marty for a live on Facebook. They tore it up. We tore it up as a group. They interviewed just about every. Chris interviewed just about everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, I was fortunate enough to sit next to Chris and give him a do you Rob Lynn live. And I think red was about to fall out of his chair laughing on that one. And Marty even had a big smile on his face. So thanks fellas yeah, you, for you can catch indulging me. And the recording of that is on our Rob Lynn live channel. It can't be. It is. It, was, it wouldn't be. Yes, it is. Cause Marty mm -hmm. live streamed to multiple YouTube destinations. So it is on our channel. Check it out. It's fun. All original all goofy, all crazy, but all fun. And on my Facebook profile page is the Facebook Live that Rob and I did. Not too shabby. Got a lot of views. Let me peek and see, but I was like, whoa. I think we were over a thousand views in three hours. Let me check this. Out. Check it out, will ya? I was like, wow, Facebook is amazing. You know, the algorithm can be nice and it depends. Sometimes it's nice, sometimes they're not. So we did our live seven hours ago and we have 222 comments which is good for us so 222 likes 416 comments 22 shares and 1100 views which is not too shabby all right all right and all right again well it's now 8 p.m and we're on the eastern side of 8 at 807 you've got the roblin live network production production of Roblin Live and Ali, the Wonder Dog, with our topic of the evening, cooking and AI. I originally had said AI and cooking, and a couple of the founders says, well, that's a good topic, but start it off with cooking and AI. Oh. So I changed it, unbeknownst to Miss Nakamoto, oh, okay. but she went, she rolls with the punches, mm -hmm. and uh, there we had it. So now, okay, we've talked about today, uh, we're going to talk about some announcements. As everybody knows, it comes here every night or each and every when they can. Uh, we don't have the Ollie contest anymore, much to many people's dismay. We gave, we're gave we giving Ollie a break. We're giving uh, uh, Charmaine Ung a break. And we're giving ourselves a break with having to blast it out there to so many people. So bear with us on that. We'll bring back Ollie, Ollie as needed uh, often for sure here and there here and there mostly here <laughs> all right let's talk prayer let's talk ash let's talk praying for ash and his lovely wife ashmahan as well as the tech team the support team the media team and of course omar the author at age nine at age nine i was just happy to have a pencil in my hand and able to write a little bit of what I had read. This kid's writing books already. Ay, 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 that's an oy vey. High IQs Around and very precocious, and that's not surprising when you look at their parents. So kids are have good genes, man. So Chris got a couple of hats today. He got a red on passive hat from uh, the Mad Hatter. And then uh, I believe it was Jeff. I think Jeff's from Orlando, he and his wife, I think Robin. Uh, gave him a 10 gallon hat. Oh, yeah, a Stetson. Wow, a Stetson. It's a beauty. That's not one of those 69 cent ones from Walmart that you get. Although, he, I think he owns a couple of those, but mm -hmm. this is a beauty of a hat. Wow, all right. Now, uh, do we want to go ahead with announcements or should we play a song? No, we, you're gonna updates announcements your presentation and then the theme song theme song will be last and then we'll uh, stop the live stream so those of you who are on the live stream enjoy it but just know that once the theme song is played a few times we will stop the live stream and you'll need to hop on to o connect in order to enjoy the rest of our show roblinlive.com if you hadn't heard that before, you're going to hear it plenty of times. Mm -hmm. That's Lynn Nakamoto's dem demand. How about her domain instead? Mm -hmm. That's her domain. That's 
RoblinLive.com. That's where you go to get three free for the and me platforms, solutions, products, whatever you want to call them. Oh, mail, oh, net, oh, trim, mim, 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 mim. <laughs> trim. All right. You got, it, you got it. All right. So that's where you go. You go to RoblinLive.com and that'll put you right there on the right page. So get yourself an email, get yourself a password and have some F-U-N, F-U-N for you and me. All right. Mm -hmm. We talked about prayers for Ash. We've now talked about uh, what happened today. Now we've got a few announcements I think we'll go into, and then we might just have that song. What do you think? Oh, yeah, and your presentation. And the presentation. And then the song. It'll be short and sweet tonight. We're talking AI. We're talking food. We're talking right up your alley. All right. I love it. I love it. All right. Orlando today. Oh, uh -oh. Kenny Davis. Hi. Kenny Davis in the house. What's shaking? It's all you, brother. You are rocking and a rolling today. It was good to meet you. Good to see you. Good to shake hands. Good to break bread with you. And away we go. We're going to see you real soon, like Mickey says. Mm -hmm. We'll see you again real soon. And I was only called Ron uh, nine times today. <laughs> Amazing. And uh, no one called Ron Rob, so that's a little distressing. But in the meantime, I straightened out these nine folks. I said... Mm -hmm. Why are you calling me Ron? <laughs> Call me Robert. Call me Poppy. Call me anything but Ron. So, uh, oh, nah, you all kidding to... aside, I don't care what you call me, okay? As long as I hear the dinner bell, I good. I real good. And speaking of good, guess who came from Colorado to see us? Jig Bodie. Yeah. Jig Bodie got on a plane and came all the way to Sunshine State to see. Well, to participate, no, nah, they didn't come to see me. They didn't come to see you. They came to participate in a Chris Johnson Florida meetup. Meetup. And I said, Jigbodi, are you going to be on the show tonight? She goes, no. She says, I have to fly back to Colorado. And so speaking of flying, Omenu Miller herself flew in from, uh, I almost Oregon. said Ocala, yeah. but it's actually or not Orlando. Let's call it Oregon, and where it rains all the time. And as John Barilla says, it never rains in California, but it does in Oregon. You know, my voice is really in tune tonight. I like Very that. Nice. I might have to step up to the plate oh, with wow. Frank and. Uh, Are you gonna sing? Oh my! Goodness. I might sing a whole song. Okay. Ooh, no, I'm not gonna do it. We'll do the jingles and we'll do the partials. And and. Uh, well, before you go into that, I was just going to say that I got to know Ken. I guess he calls himself Kenny here, but uh, I guess Ken Davis is what uh, what I what we wrote on his name tag today. And he was explaining to me that his background is he's a computer. Uh, what was the term? What do you do? Uh, your background computer? Oh, computer engineer. That's right, computer engineer, and. He said that he's created over 300 posts. And yeah, so his name tag was Ken, but he's calling himself Kenny here. So, but anyway, I was saying he produces um, content, you know, um, technical content, 300 of them, 300 articles so far or posts so far. So I said, I'll pay attention more to his LinkedIn posts. And if those of you who are on LinkedIn, check it out, make sure you like his posts. And if you feel like it, repost his post and let's support Kenny Davis. I believe you're Ken. He just corrected it to Ken. It's Ken on uh, social media. Ken is short for Kenny. All right. All right. All right. Collaboration. Sky.com. Oh, collaboration.com. Very nice. Check it out. Collaboration.com. All right. Now, what else do, do we want to talk about? Hmm. Hmm. Ash was not in attendance. But we were forewarned, and forewarned is forearmed here at Roblin Live Network, that Ash would not be there. He just requires a little more notice in one day. Yeah. Believe it or not, his schedule's a little busier than ours. So next time, Chris, keep that in mind. 
If you're going to invite Mr. Mafar, make sure you give him plenty of time to say yay or nay. All right. So I think he's uh, he was saying the next one, you know, as long as he uh, can let us know when he's free, the date and time that he's free, that we can probably look forward to having a get together with Ash Mafar present. So that's pretty exciting. All right. Now, back to announcements. Please migrate. Okay. Uh, we're coming up on a big, big week where the rollout of the withdrawals is, is going to happen. Uh, uh, we don't know if there are any products are coming out this week. We got another 10 day extension and that's strictly to get as many people in, in, in at $93 who want to get in or at 190. So please, please, please pay attention. Yeah. Okay. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. Um, you want to be in it. You want to win it. And, uh, sure. we had some fun today. We were all in it to win it today. Very noisy crowd. Uh, I had to apologize to the manager Noisy who, believe it or not, his name is Ash too. Yeah, that was pretty cool. unbelievable. I go, I shake hands with the manager when we got there about eight and I said, hi, I'm, uh, Rob Gorman. He says, oh, I thought you were Ron Holbert. Uh, <laughs> so that's how we started the morning. And then he said, um, uh, I heard from Ash and I said, your name is Ash. He said, yeah, Ash Mafar. I talked to him yesterday. Oh, yeah. So we're very grateful to Ash Mafar for whatever you did today that we weren't uh, privy to. And, but thank you. Thank you, Ash. We love you, brother. And uh, it was totally lit. The golden corral food at lunchtime was very good. Breakfast, eh, a little dry, a little dry, but Hey, you know, for eleven ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine or twenty nine ninety nine, whatever ninety nine, that's a good deal. Mm -hmm. So you just have to pick and choose. They had plenty of salad. They had fresh omelets. The omelets, unbelievable. People were standing in line to get an omelet, and this lady was making them fresh with fresh vegetables, fresh meats, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I did have some pineapple, uh, mm -hmm. Dawn Swire, and. Um, I didn't have a lot. I think I had about 10, 12 little chunkies, but oh, you love your pineapple. Right? I love pineapple, and I hadn't had any fruit in probably six months since we started and I, the diet. I passed on the fruit. So. Oh, but you jumped but, right on the soft serve ice cream. Little, only a couple of teaspoons, and I got busy, honey. But then I did have some carrot cake. I took the frosting off and I ate the carrot cake, but it was kind of dry. So I said, well, if it's not that fabulous, don't eat it. So I ate a little bit of carrot cake. What else did I have? Oh, apple cobbler. I was like, oh, it's so sugary. You know, when you don't eat sugar a lot and then you eat sugar, it was like, I didn't care for it. It's too sweet, sugary. All right. But everything else was spot on and good. Our waitress's name was? Tish, I think. Trisha. Oh, Trisha. Trisha. Trish, and uh, Trish. she helped us also, not just at breakfast, but we moved over to set up. So we could give out or provide the, what do you call those things? Da, 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 da. Name, tags. name tags. And which we tried to make sure everybody had a name tag. And uh, quite frankly, thank goodness for the name tags. Because there were some people there we haven't seen on the webinars, especially on the panel. But oh boy. Oh boy, did we have some hugs and kisses and high fives and pictures and videos and lives. And Joja. Joja, I got you on my mind, but you you need to double or triple your volume next time. So, uh, Uncle Bill, step it up a little bit, brother, and I'm sure they will. And uh, Chris will, at some time, I'm sure, will go back to Georgia. And don't forget the fire ants. Yes, can so we? Can, can't forget those. He taught me that if you're a Floridian, when you walk outside, you don't walk with your head up looking for it. No, no, no. You must have your eyes on looking at the ground because you're going to look for alligators, snakes, and fire ants. ants. So fire ants, fire ants. So I was like, oh, I didn't know that. And I walked straight into a hill. And he said to me, my, my shoe print was still on the <laughs> ant hill. I didn't know what hit me. All I knew was I was in pain. I was like in shock. Won't happen again. Oh, she I sought, learned a lesson. She sought some first aid and she was mm. fine. All right. Now, migrate as we said without hesitation. Sign your ND date and 
NDDA. Wow. How about your NDA and the new uh, affiliate agreement? Sign it. But first, okay, this is uh, a bit of advice. Read it thoroughly. Oh, okay. Yeah. There are some changes I mean, in there. Don't just accept, right? You want to read the content. Read it. And it's pretty good content too. You'll love it once you read it. Right. But you got to read it. Don't just sign and go. I signed and go. And then you know, I, I really should have read it. And I did go back and read it three or four times. That's good. All right. Oh, Sifu Francis Tay. I know him. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sifu. From our heart to yours, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you thinking of us in those oh, light, in that always, light. He always does. And so He's the, the best. His next training is going to be on Tuesday. Because trainings are every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So this one coming up will be Tuesday. That's OES Classroom. Oh, Nelly. And guess who's there for that? Sifu Francis, Michelle Comstra, and the one and only Chris Tiazone. Rose Juliana at times is there. And if you know the topic, let us know if you already decided the topic for Tuesday so people can know they want to go. All right, all right, all right. Remember this. You can get anything that you want at Golden Corral in Orlando. <laughs> that was a hard one to had, yeah, Well, I had to change it up a little bit, but hey, it was fun. Uh, yeah, it was, that's all I'm going to say. It was fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, we ate probably a little too much, but we stayed, these two stayed within the keto diet within reason. Yeah. So didn't need any cornflakes, didn't need any pasta. No potatoes, no rice, we had no some... bread, no muffins, none of that. However, I must say, they have a roll for their hamburgers. A, it's, is it sourdough or it's, it's some kind of sweet roll? Uh, I must admit, I sucked that bad boy down, but I ate it in pieces uh, to make it, you know, not as dramatic. But mm -hmm. ooh, ooh. I should have stuck with the just a hamburger, but this roll, it's a Kaiser roll, but soft and sounds, buttery. Sounds really Ooh, good. Actually. Doggies. I that think, was good. I think I would have loved it myself. But. I'm glad you stayed away from it. All right. Check out the on passive newest website. Check out the on passive YouTube channel. Log into your OES regularly. Do not pass go and do not attempt to collect $200 till you check into the OES. Log into your alternate email and be ready to go. Be ready to copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste the OTP once you get that. That will log you in faster than grease lightning. So just remember that. <laughs> okay. Attend webinars and chats. Hop on an O Connect when you can. You don't have to be at every one. There were 34 today or 35 today. But do attend some because the quality of the content is mwah, magnifico. Ooh. So tonight's topic, we have, oh, no, 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 no. We, back the bus up, Gorman. Subscribe to O-Connect and any other solutions that may come your way within the next few days when you can. Mm -hmm. You know, don't go borrowing money. That's not the way we do things here. Just get it when you can. And remember to help anyone in need as helping one helps us oh. all as a family. All is a family. All is a family. Yay. Nice. All right, guys. Now, we have a topic tonight. Did you want to play the song and then do the topic? No, we did the song at the end. Always at the end. You're killing me. All right, we're going to do the song at the end. I was going to take a break, but so much for break time. Tonight's topic, cooking and AI. Cooking and AI. And Ollie's question of the evening, have you ever used AI for ingredients? Suggestions. Hmm. Interesting thought. So what are the ways AI is influencing and assisting with the culinary world? Well, I'm glad you asked. Here are just a few of those ways, if you're ready. Here I'm we go. ready. Recipe generation. AI algorithms. We all know what the algorithms are and do. 
analyze recipes, re recipes and ingredient combinations and quantities as well as cooking instructions. Wow. So get ready, buckle up, get that second um, pair of Depends ready. You're going to need them, mm -hmm. okay? So check out the algorithms and how they get recipes ready. Itch, itch, itch. All right, now let's do the prompter scroll up, if we may. Ingredient suggestions. Dietary preferences are the key here to carefully missing ingredients to ward off allergies. Now, where else can you ward off allergies? And right here at On Passive. Okay? This is a winner for cooking at home. Okay? There's nothing wrong with cooking at home. There's nothing wrong with dining out. But you need a balance of the two. Okay? Meal planning recipes are suggested. They have restrictions. Oh, yeah. Not everything is just black and white or green and yellow. Nutritional goals and personal preferences taken into consideration. What a grand way to create a shopping list. Mm. You can go along and snapping your fingers and just jamming and talking about getting anything that you want at Ashma Farah's restaurant. This is really powerful. It is powerful. This is a powerful topic. We're glad you're here. We're up to 43. We need to crank that number up just a hair, if you don't mind. Maybe we can get to 40. Oh, we got to 44. Well, maybe 45. And where's Frank uh, Rowe when we need him? Our famous auctioneer. All right, all right, all right. Colonel Daniel Lee. Colonel Daniel Lee is not in the Frank house. Will, not Frank Rowe. Oh, sorry about that. Frank Rowe is uh, one of our singers. Yes, he is. He's a singer, songwriter extraordinaire. Mm -hmm. All right. How about ingredient suggestions? Dietary preferences are the key here to carefully missing ingredients to ward off allergies. You don't want to miss it. Okay. This is a winner for cooking at home. Meal planning is next. Recipes and suggested are suggested with restrictions. Nutritional goals and person to person preferences taken into consideration what a grand way to create a shopping list yeah, that's good actually. easy peasy for you you and me so you can personalize what your um, your meal plan that's amazing recipes that suit your tastes and suit your preferences recipes that uh, are within your particular per diet you. or you know whatever regimen you're following Nutritional goals to meet you, you know, I mean, this would be unbelievable what it can do. Yeah. I agree with you 110%, Ms. Nakamoto. All right. Cooking assistance, small kitchen appliances, also known as smart kitchen appliances, uh, can provide in real time. Now, this is right here, right now for you and me. An example is an AI-driven oven. Are you kidding? Oh. An oven that can uh, handle AI commands, etc. Oh, yeah. Wow. Adjust the times and temps as necessary, bringing you the perfect product. Okay. Flavor profiling. I almost said favor profiling, but flavor profiling. AI is quite capable of pairing up yummy pairing. Uh, excuse me, flavor pairings. Oh. This aids in experimentation by pros and home chefs. You are in the right place at the right time for all the right reasons. Well, that's cool. So in other words, you can say, it will tell you what goes with what. When they say pairings, you know, that's this right. will, oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. I mean, and the good thing about it, it doesn't cost you anything, really, if you think about it. It's free for thee and me. All right, personalized nutrition. As many of us have specific meal preferences, and please note, AI is at the center of creating a meal plan. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Food quality, monitoring sensors are able to monitor freshness, send alerts when times are about to expire. This is helpful, truly helpful wow. in eliminating waste. We don't want any waste and ensures the ingredients are of the highest quality. That's great. 
great really very very good good stuff yeah very impressive then there's robotic cooking robotic arms are being developed already some of them are in the marketplace that follow a recipe chop ingredients stir pots and perform other tasks with precision what a good idea mr mafar had there wow. all right wow. wine and food pairings Ooh, some of you going to tip the bottle a little bit and have a little wine makes it all worthwhile yeah. ai can recommend suitable wine pairings this helps those of us who have limited knowledge that's right i have limited knowledge of the many wines uh, so that we can make finer choices that's, that's what this is all about wow customer experiences in restaurants ai driven chatbots assist customers in choosing dishes making reservations and providing information above or about the menu Woohoo, doggies Very practical. all right this whole thing is practical and uh, we hope you'll uh take a lesson from here and log on log in log about log among just be there to flex your muscles like look at those guns wow Woo, doggies mm -hmm. like those and have a good time uh in the back office so that all being said are we ready i know we're ready to rumble are we ready for ollie boy and his cast of hundreds we're ready for this theme song. The theme song? Who wrote that? Well, I think you know. You can give the background, please, while I pull up the song. All right, all right, all right. Get ready. Here comes our theme song. Get ready now, kids. On a one, on a two, on a three. And so who composed the song? I'm glad you asked. John Barilla. John Barilla composed the song, wrote the song, put the words to the music and he is on top of his game big time mm -hmm, he is. all right there's john buddy uh john barilla so here we go we're gonna play the theme song probably like three times let's enjoy it I, it's, it's just a very uplifting upbeat song and i enjoy it thoroughly i hope right. you do as well here we go here we go
I think that deserves a Ric Flair. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay. Woo! There it was. Good one. Now that I'm doing them from the diaphragm, Latoya, I'm making much better sounds. That's right. And this has been fun so far tonight. Yeah. Uh, sure. Let's see. What have we done tonight? We've talked about today in Orlando mm -hmm. with roughly 65 people, 64, 65 people. All Rob Lynn Livers, I might add, and all with a big smile on their face. It was fun, fun, fun. Now that Daddy took the T-bird away. All right. And, so uh, we, yeah. So we went up over updates and announcements. We went over what we did in Orlando, Florida, about the meetup. The oh, the presentation about cooking and AI, AI was done, and we then played the theme song. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have community time. This is when you can come down to the panel and talk with everybody. So we're hoping that you'll want to do that. And if you don't want to be on the panel, at least you can hear what the panelists have to say. But in order to do that, you got to come to O Connect. And we have the O Connect, uh, uh, what do you call it? Attendee link. It is posted. It's pinned. I believe they pinned it here at the top of the um youtube chat so you can click on that if you are already in on passive and if you're not simply go to roblinlive.com roblinlive.com that's right go to or roblinlive.ai yeah. so that's all you gotta do and then uh, once you go to roblinlive.com com or dot ai and you register then you can click on that attendee link for o connect and join us for community time so we thank you for being here and we would love to see you over on o connect on the count of three i'll let my come on come on come on come on come on and we'll shut off on one on a two and a three here we go o connect style one two three all right see you there we're already there. What do you think of that? Woo! Doggies. Uh, yeah. Very good. All right. Not too oh, shabby. We're, we're done with all this. We are okay, done with that. Done. Yes, we are. So we're it's community time now. Community time. So uh, we're going to go ahead and click on the icon that will bring all each and every one of you to the panel, the panel mm -hmm. where you need to get your answers in in a timely fashion. Yeah. So without further ado, Let's get it on. Let's rumble. So for you who are new to us, we're going to click the attendee, uh, no, the speaker request icon. You will see uh, an icon yourself that appears. It's a new new one that will pop up. It looks like a person with some wavy lines around the person's head. That is a speaker request icon. Simply click it, and then we will bring you in. We will accept your request and bring you into the panel. So here we go. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Who's first? Who's first? Who's first? All right. And Carmilla. first out of the shoot is Carmela Schwartz from Israel. Second is Pat Green. Pat Green. Dorothy. Dorothy. Next we got John Barilla. Johnny. JJB Tanak. Johnny. Monami. Are you here, Johnny? Next we have Greg Lakin. And followed by Melly, uh, Melanie Marcano, who we call Mel Mel. And then comes Chris Tiazon. Chris Tiazon. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six of you already. That's pretty fast. Not too shabby. Did you bring them all into the panel or are you still bringing? Uh, I'm just waiting for more people to come in. There's another one. Then we'll go to the. Uh, There's the, Don Swire. Hello, Donnie. Once we get a few more, then we'll. Bring it to the community. All right, the uh, panel is again. growing tonight. And we're going to go till about, I think, 9.30 tonight with our community time, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, then if you have other things to do, be feel free to do them. And uh, we'll be here to talk with each and every one of you as long as you want to go. Uh, but that's our goal tonight. Maybe knock off at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. And Sadadana, he's so cute. He says, now is the time for the Ali cooking contest. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, I don't think so, Sadananda. <laughs> I'm pretty protective of that pooch. 
All right, no, no, let's no, uh, not, say hello to Carmen. Not, ah, yeah, yeah. not cooking Ollie, but cooking contest. Ollie's cooking contest. You know what I mean? Not cooking Ollie. Get it? I got it. Yeah. I fully got it. I say it again. Do you, Rob Lynn Live? I'm going to say it till the day I die. Do you, Rob Lynn Live? I think you do. And we see Latoya here. Did you hear his Ric Flair? And can we have a judge? Uh, yes, judge. Uh, judging number, whatever. What, is what do you think? Was that an eight, a nine, or a zero? Yeah, yeah. We you hope y'all get, get better. All right, anybody want. else coming to the it panel? It is from Forest Restaurant. Cha, cha, cha. It's going to be a small panel if people don't come over. All right, so let, let me go to the um, gallery view, and everybody gets to see who's on the panel. One, two, three, here we go. One, two, three, it's easy. Yay, one, hi, two, you guys. Three. Hello, oh, everybody. Hi, everybody. All right, let's. Uh, oh, Carmela, you've got your. Uh, uh, are those polka dots? You're in polka dots tonight. All Very right, nice. Carmela. Yeah. Go ahead, bring it to us. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Let's hear from you, Carmela Fire Schwartz. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello. I was a late to you live streaming. May wake me up. I I went in, I saw it, but it was late. It wasn't so live. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I had a visitor today. Somebody was sleeping uh, about on passive. I have to wake him up. So he came here and I have to show him what is all connected and what is everything. He, Suddenly, he, he discovered that he's going to live uh, the chance of his life. So, <laughs> so, was so I him. did he understand after you spoke with him? Yes, yes, he understands. He's a technology person, but he was just uh, very busy with his life uh, style with too many uh, places to walk and to struggle uh, with the health. And... Uh, he neglected the uh, on passive, mm. so I wake him up and uh, he have to uh, uh, to account, and I and he wanted to pay the second account and we had problem. I sent the the sc a screen share to uh, Francis. Maybe he will help us mm -hmm. with that. And uh, I have a. Um, problem myself i don't know what happened to youtube he closed my uh, account he said i did something wrong he sent me an email we closed your account what is that oh usually they will tell you why so i i sent them a message i don't know what they did uh, please usually open it back i don't have so many so many uh, movie there but i don't i don't know why they did that. it's very yeah, strange usually usually if if they're going to close your account they'll send you a message so look for a message from youtube that explains the reason and you can appeal there's always an appeal that you can make to them to say why you don't think you should be your account should be so terminated. i sent him a message back let's see he sent me an email immediately I answered. okay let us know how it goes i hope i hope you get it back and and her, uh, I heard account. her. Yeah. So keep us posted, okay, Carmela? Let us okay. know. What's yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right. You guys are doing it to me again. You're going to make me pick and choose. Who wants to go next? Um, no hands raised. Okay. Just repeat the topic and maybe give them ideas what they can say. That okay. A lot. Cooking and AI or AI and cooking. We got everything from smart appliances. They've got ranges now that are able to analyze what's on the stove. Do you believe that? I read that and I said, there ain't no way. Yes way. They do. And they've also got, um, oh, within AI, they've got analytics uh, that can decipher anything and everything about a recipe. All good stuff. I, All heard, good stuff. I think I read about if you, you know, you're, I don't know if it's a certain kind of fridge but a refrigerator. It knows what you have in your refrigerator and it will tell you what you can make as far as recipes, you know, with those 
ingredients in your refrigerator. I think that's remarkable. That's the algorithm at work. Wow. Greg Lakin, come on down, sir. Let's hear from you. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, can you hear me now? Uh, Go ahead, Greg. Audible. Yeah, we hear you. You're audible. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, well, um, as far as I concern in my cooking, I, um, I'm, I'm still on SSI, so I, I haven't done anything of that mag to yet, but you know, my picture is bright. Um, but I'm so glad that now you can hear me because I had some problem before on the last few days getting audible. Okay. You sound good tonight, Greg. Okay. Yeah, man. You sound good tonight. Thank you. Don't go away. All right. Where are we going next? Holy smokes. I think we're going to Mel Mel. Mel Mel. Yes, I'm coming. Good night. Good evening, Rob and Lynn. I saw you guys were having too much fun. <laughs> and you're still up running the live. That's great energy. It, it looked like it was a fun, a fun time, as if we, I was right there with you all. Very nice. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, I was watching, I, and the pictures were great too. The pictures that you took, very nice. You, you know, Chris and little Minu. <laughs> She's short. <laughs> She's a I little lady. Know. Yeah, anyhow, um, it was nice putting names to faces, but um, that's beyond the fact. I'm cooking with AI. Um, on my on my phone, I downloaded an app called Samsung Food because I have Samsung. So some, Samsung Food have its own dietitian. It has its own um, nutritionist. It guides you what to use, what measure, and all of that. So it is a cooking assistant with AI, and it gives you recipes. So you don't even have to pay money to go to a nutritionist or, you know, dietitian anymore, because AI is bringing that to your new gadget, which is a good thing, you know? So the, that's, yeah. I was going to say the AI knows what ingredients you're using too for yeah. whatever reason and is able to help. I don't stop, not two dashes of salt, one. So that's good stuff. And there's a, there's a thing you're talking about the fridge lean. There's a little oink, you know, like pig yeah. symbol on some fridges. It's AI and it talks to you. And you're correct. It talks to you. I don't have it, but people have made jokes about it if they um, diet the ai detects that they're going to take the wrong food on the fridge and then it it's quick it says oink oink and we were laughing about that when yeah so that's a cool thing in a way <laughs> so, yeah so i just wanted to point that out you're correct about it yeah so, oink, oink. oink 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 <laughs> oink, 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 oink. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Where are we going next? Let me see. Who wants to talk about cooking and AI? Have you, have you used AI to help you with cooking? Well, that was Ali's question of the night. I think even ChatGPT will help you. If you if you have, like, let's say you got six ingredients at your, in right, without shopping, you know, you got six ingredients maybe leftovers and stuff, you can type those ingredients and ask uh, AI, chat GPT, for example, create a, a breakfast menu a recipe with these ingredients or create a snack or whatever it might be. And you could even say, I am on the keto regimen or I'm on the you know, carnivore or, or whatever. And then it would create a recipe for you. That's amazing. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you, Mel. Appreciate you. Uh, oh, we're going. Oh, let's go to uh, Ohio. Come on down, Don. Come on. Bring it. 
Hello, everyone. I don't know, really know what to think about AI and, and nutrition, but I think I would get in a fight with it maybe, but um, especially if it's telling me I'm taking out the wrong uh, thing out of the refrigerator or, or whatever, but it's, uh, I don't know what to think of it. I really, really don't know. I mean, I, I, I can see where it would be really helpful for people who are having problems eating correctly or eating the right foods and are, are on a special diet or, or if you're diabetic or, you know, if you have any health issues, uh, foods you're supposed to stay away from or, but I, I just think it's getting so carried away. I just, uh, I mean, people have got to learn to do this themselves, but I mean, that's how I, I I'd hate the idea that machines taking over. I mean, just, this is how you live. This is what you're going to do and don't do this and don't do that. And it just kind of bothers me, but, um, but I'm sure it has a good purpose too. So I, I just have mixed feelings about it. I guess you are in the 21st century, madam. I don't want to be in it, I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. It, well, but it, I guess it's just going so fast, but then it's telling me I'm getting old too. So, I mean, I can remember my great grandma complaining about things that were taking place, you know, 60 years ago and uh, she wasn't ready for that. So I guess I'm sounding like her now, but it's. We, especially are, were, a mirror, we are a mirror image of our parents and grandparents. Yeah, especially when they were talking about going to the moon she thought that was the craziest thing she ever heard, but you know, but, uh, but it, Things are progressing very fast. Very maybe. fast. Maybe. You know. Now we're bringing the moon to us. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So that's about all I have to say about it. You know, I, I, I'm I'm sure it has has great purposes and uh, uh, and it really helps people to tell them what ingredients to use and how to cook and what not to cook and. I was watching a video earlier because I was, I mean, this is the first I've heard about this. And and AI had created a hamburger recipe and another guy had his recipe and they were going to compete. And the guy, one guy that didn't know how to cook was going to cook with AI. And I mean, it was hilarious. I mean, it was just, but, uh, but it's interesting. Very interesting. All right. Thank you, madam. We appreciate your uh, input from Ohio. Okay. Let's go over to Kansas. Kansas. And let's talk to Dorothy. Dorothy. Go ahead, Pat. Hello, everybody. Hi. Howdy. I'm not a chef or anything like that, but I, when I was a teenager, I cooked in a restaurant as a fry cook. Um, and one of the important things about cooking, whether you're cooking as a fry cook or you're cooking at home, is timing. Um, you've got to be able to time things. You know, you don't want something done before something else. So you've got to know when to put something on and when to take it off and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, especially if you're cooking for a lot of people. But, um, and, you know, that's true whether you're just cooking for your family or anybody else, too. It's just on a bigger scale. So I was thinking that AI might help with that. You know, the people that don't know how to cook or are not sure when to put what on the stove and for how long, you know, and in the meantime, take this off or put that on. I think that would help them a lot. I think AI would be a good thing as far as that's concerned. As far as dieting, um, I was eating, you know, um, I was on a diet that uh, a dietitian gave me and I kept weight off for quite a few years. And I lost 53 pounds and kept it off for years. And um, a, dieting, I think, is a choice. A machine, you know, can't make that decision for you. So you've got to decide whether or not you're going to eat, well, how you're going to eat, you know, yourself first. I mean, yes, I think AI can help with that a lot. But I think if, if the decision has to be there first. You've got to decide, I'm going to do this because I want to do this. And I want to make this change in my life. And I know it coming, you know, and I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here because I need, I'm need i eating junk. And I know I'm eating junk and I'm enjoying it. But, you know, it's, it's kind of like, I think AI, you know, once you make the decision, 
to eat certain foods, that's something that you have to decide first. I think AI can help you a lot with that um, and, you know, re lead you in the right direction. But you got to decide, too, whether you're going to follow it. So that's, you know, some of the basics of cooking and eating good food. Anyway, that's all I had to say. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you from, uh, uh, let's see, Kansas. Now we're going up to Canada and we'll speak to, uh, we'll have her speak to us. We're not speaking to her. She's speaking to us. Go ahead, Mel. Yeah. Um, another thing, another place I'd gone where, I mean, it's still cooking, but I didn't cook it. But I went to a place, it's called um, mm, August 8 in Canada. They have quite yeah, a few yeah. restaurants. You go, you sit. It's not a buffet. It's kind of like a buffet, but it's not. So you sit and every desk has its own computer. Like um, if there are three people or six people to a table, each person has a little mini com com computer. And then the chef are in the kitchen and it shows you what you can, things that you can choose. Not the chef, the waitress or the waiters, they don't come to your table. All they do is come and pick up the little tablet because you have chosen this meal, that meal, and it's small quantities. And I love that though. Rather than going to a buffet where you eat so much and you feel so stuffed and you're dragging like Tim Pleton, that little story of the rat. Yeah, so um, you, you choose small size and you can choose as many as you want and then you pay at the end. It's a good thing, I think it is. So it, it, it's helping me to modify what I eat, you know, like how much I eat at once, you know, rather than going to a big buffet, at least it gives you in small amounts and then it goes directly to the chef in the kitchen, they prepare it and then it takes a little while, but then it comes to your table. So I, I think it has its good side again and its bad side. Because like today, for example, I cook and I cook um, the, the raw red beans, red beans, yeah, or kidney beans, whatever they have red. So, you know, it takes a long time to be cooked. <laughs> I cooked it and then on top of that, my son made pasta with um, turkey, ground turkey, and I ate both. And then on top of that, I ate nuts, okay? And I ate, what is it again? So I know that's why I'm feeling luggish sitting there because that's too much for me. You know, my intestine can only hold so much. So I think I love the small quantities that AI is administering. They are not telling you what to eat, what not to eat, but the quantity. It's a good thing to me. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. very much. We appreciate that. Yeah. Let's see where we're going next. Uh, John, did you have something to say about diet and um, AI? Mr. Chocolate Chip himself? Yeah. Well, this is, again, one of those things that's kind of kind of off my uh, area of expertise, uh, except I would say um, for someone like me, well, first of all, you know, we, we all know it, the AI is, is involved in everything, has been for a while, but it's becoming more and more so. Uh, the things that AI knows, learns, and what it does will all be part of everything we do, and including uh, food preparation and uh, even the creation of various recipes, formulas, and anything that has to do with, you know, learning about and knowing about more information about anything that has to do with cooking or food. And uh, the thing is about, for a guy like me, before that would ever enter into my everyday life, uh, I, I could see where it would take a while because, like I said, I think I said yesterday, weren't we talking about food just recently? And I was like, uh, you know, I, I, I'm a, I cook for myself, but I wouldn't want to subject anyone to my cooking. So my whole experience in the kitchen, it isn't so much that I need AI to tell me how some what is and should I eat this because of my – but, you know, uh, if they come up with something where – the devices used in cooking are intelligent enough that no matter what ingredients you use, as long as it's going towards the right thing that you want to have, you really only got to, like a guy like me, maybe put it in there and boom, it comes out and it's an excellent, well done meal. Now, maybe like that. But again, when I think about things like that, I'm thinking like, well, that's a ways off, at least for a guy like me. 
considering where I live, how I live, where would that machine come from and where would I put it with it, all that stuff. But I, I would imagine there would be where even guys like me that don't know much about cooking and give it the effort, they'll be helped by AI in the future when they have your whole setup is controlled in the kitchen by AI. But that's all I'll say about it. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. New York. And uh, before we go to Chris, I want to mention something that happened today in Orlando. Trevor Peters was there with his uh, two young uh, children. I think a boy and a girl, if I remember right. Very cutie pies. And uh, uh, this is for you, Guiana. Uh, there was a National Meditation Day, I think about three years ago. And uh, uh, Trevor wants, would like to get in touch with you and anyone else who you think might be interested in putting that together to do an O Connect, a national meditation of O Connect. So uh, I was going to give him your contact information, but I didn't want to do that without asking uh, your permission. But he specifically mentioned you, sir. So good evening uh, to you all. Uh, I have request to you, please uh, give me uh, your uh, that link in my WhatsApp. Uh, Lin ma'am, I request to you that link. Uh, give me in WhatsApp, okay? Thank you. Okay, no problem. I'll shoot. We'll Thank you. One of us will shoot it to you. It'd be nice to have a National Meditation Day. Mm. We kind of need uh, a break away from the action a little bit here. Uh, oh, excuse me, no. sir. Rob, sir. Actually, I have an experience about uh, meditation. So, uh, in meditation, lot of technique, you know. Uh, so, those who are uh, teaching about meditation, they have uh, many technique. Many uh, who are like uh, his own personal technique. They are teaching to uh, present, <laughs> presenting his personal way. So I have also uh, meditation, uh, some technique. I actually, I, I have a lot of uh, experience, my personal experience. So somebody like to uh, learn from me, I can, I can teach uh, them uh, easily, uh, very easy technique. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry to interrupt to you. Ah, no, you didn't interrupt me. I probably interrupted you, but thank you. Uh, we'll get you Trevor's information and maybe get you guys hooked up. That'd be terrific stuff there. Terrific. Yes, thank you. Let's go to Chris Tiazone, who happens to be in the, is it sunny in the Philippines today? Yeah, it's uh, the sun uh, uh, sh is shining now, but earlier it was very cold. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a change of weather. Perhaps the cloud cleared already. <laughs> so cooking in AI, the topic is uh, makes me hungry now. Yeah, uh, but anyway, I just got prepared. Um, pre prepared already uh, uh, a plate uh, beside me. I'll be uh, off. I'll off my camera later after my piece. <laughs> yeah, um, in relation to uh, what uh, uh, Melanie mentioned earlier. Um, the ordering in the already in the table you it's a digital thing you can pr press things there and while waiting you play chess i've seen it in a, a post somewhere it's, it's really uh changing um, um uh, the restaurant industry uh, with uh, some businesses uh, applying that um in their uh, their place and of course here in the philippines uh, I compare it to a uh, fast food chain. Uh, um, it, in terms of ordering, um, yeah, where people just line up in that, uh, in that, uh, in front of the machine, and they tap uh, their order. It makes the ordering process uh, and uh, the ser serving uh, in that fast food chain of the uh, staff inside the um, fast. So. Um, yeah, and the ref refrigerator with the with the uh, it reminds you of what what uh, what's uh, what um, the owner of the house would uh, um, get from the market. <laughs> I've seen that in some uh, in 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 Korean companies and in YouTube. It's uh, amazing. So 
thank you very much that's all for for me from for now but you'll be back i know that's right all right sifu francis what in the world are you doing talk to us brother i i didn't know that there's so many people in the <clears throat> in the panel because in my screen when i watch it's only five of them so i said but they come in and then my my attendee site do not have the request for speaker link you know? oh. so i went i went i click on the the link that lean lean always post in in the messenger anyway i'm here uh welcome good morning uh it's, it's sunny no rain here never rain in singapore yeah regarding the topic is also very interesting in a it was also my favorite topic, uh, cooking. I think a few years ago, before I joined on Passive, uh, about four or five years ago, when we moved house, we were shopping for fridge, refrigerator, and the salesman did, did demonstrate uh, the new new fridge to us, and, and that what, what Mel was mentioning about the fridge. Uh, it's, that's an apps of the fridge. You must download the apps that uh, belong to the fridge. Then you can just tell the apps what you need to do. Like if you have some some uh, vegetable or meat left in the fridge, you can tell the the apps eh, and what you want to cook, and the apps will give you a suggestion what food you, you know what food they can turn up for you with this limited uh, limited resources you have in the fridge eh, in the fridge. Eh? And they say also, they also tell you uh, nutrition, what do you need? Uh, are you, they ask you, are you a uh, health, health uh, you know, they ask you to take no? diabetic or whatever you take, then they will come up with another another uh, recipe for you. During the time, right, four or five years ago, I don't even know what is AI. You know? I know it's computer, I know robot, all this. Now that we use so much, this word called artificial intelligence. That's why I say, I was sharing yesterday. Sometimes we need to migrate our mindset, you know, or we need to up, update our mindset. Is a is whether two point oh, three point oh. We need to update a bit. Don't don't reject all this new stuff. Actually, I was I rejected the fridge because I know nothing about computer, all this technology. So I I said no no. I just buy a normal normal fridge. You know, if I have that. <laughs> Today I will be out of job. I won't be cooking curry. You know? There won't be any chicken curry around. You know? yeah. right. So the the other thing about what we also mentioned about the fridge, uh, the the restaurant, uh, it also happened about 10, 10 Now now our Marina Bay Sand, I think it's about fifteen years now. When this you know this all this casino come to Singapore in about fifteen years ago. They do introduce this system called, uh, you can see in any restaurant in that uh, area, Marina Bay Sand, uh, as long as you see in any restaurant belong to the, the, uh, their estates, uh, you are able to, to scan the QR code, right? And order the food. Whichever, whichever uh, restaurant the food belong to, they were sent to you. So there were seven restaurants in that hotel, seven restaurants all over the, the area. And you can just scan the food that you want in that particular uh, restaurant you see. Huh? It doesn't mean that you see in that restaurant the, the, the you must order from that restaurant. You are able to order from all the rest of the six restaurants you know, and they can come to you. you know? it, it's just mind-blowing that how during that time I also don't don't uh, accept the 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 QR code thing. Doing it, you know, we haven't migrate our mindset. You know, I was so fearful that our data was capture you know, all this information. You, know? you pay by credit card, and the credit card number was credit. Card. You know, in the older days, we had all this uh, fencing. You know, we block our mindset. You know, you know? until today, uh, I give you one secret. Uh, if you want to know my background. I, I was a missionary. I told you I was a missionary. Right? And uh, in 1980s, uh, the, those 80s, 
I was involved in the mission convention in one of the mission convention in Belgium, and we we made friend with the cook and then uh, mm -hmm. you know Asian like to eat at night. Yeah. So we made friend with the cook and we say that we love we love to have have uh, omelette everything, and the cook recognized us. Huh? And uh, one day the cook was sick. You know, the cook fall sick. You know, and he came to the Asian for help. You know, we have six hundred. Uh, in, in attendance in the convention, uh, 600 people. He said, can you help to cook uh, the next two days? Uh? And then we will look at each other and say, who can cook? I said, no, nobody can cook. I can only cook chicken rice uh, and also fried rice. You know? Then the, the cook said, you, you can come and, and cook fried rice for 600 people. You know how, how big a wok we can find, you know? Wok, uh, the Chinese wok, how big can find. And that, that, that lunch, I remember, you know, uh, I can write a history, history book. That day, I I don't know how many turns, you know, you cook, you just pour into the pot, how many times I, I cook and pour. Uh, in 10 minutes, every time I, I just turn the, the, the walk, you know, the walk, just turn and turn until they say, enough, you know, <laughs> say something. You know, and that, that is where uh, I, I, I start to de develop this word called cooking, you know, because I get involved, you know, by by you know, by divine appointment or what, you know, I get involved. And today, today I I become good in cooking, you know. You know. So I think the same with us, huh? there are certain things that we may not like to do, you know. But so, sometimes when there's a request, you, know, you can try. It. Maybe you are the one that that you know. You were in the right place at the right time that you, you know your skill sets your talents your mindset that is needed for you to help in that situation okay thank you thank you thank you francis uh let's go to israel and carmela go ahead carmela uh, francis was talking about cooking i was uh, working in the kitchen uh, 40 years ago in a uh, in a restaurant of kibbutz. It's a dining room. It's called dining room. Uh, we cooked for 200 people every every day. And we have a pot, a uh, big ones. I can go inside, it's so big. <laughs> and I, I believe now it's something else. Uh, uh, we, you have to be in a certain way, you have to be very arrangement when you are doing such a, a lot of food for uh, so many people. But it's not one person cook. One person is cutting, one person is doing, is washing, one person is doing this. Each person do something else and one is taking all the natural together to the pot to, to cook, to real cook. So. Uh, I don't know how we do it. You do it today, but it was thirty years ago. <laughs> it was that way in the kibbutz. The things they are changing worldwide. This AI thing is. Yes, I'm unmuted, Lynn. I am unmuted. I'm proud to say I'm unmuted. I did it all by myself. Yee doggies! All right. Well, that all being said. Uh, AI is just all over the place. It's in it's in the kitchen. It's in the garden with you, uh, Carmela, because you garden. I guarantee you AI is watching over you in the garden too. Same thing with Sharon Whedon. I guarantee you AI and her garden are all together in one great big happy place. So speaking of gardens, let's go to Mel. Double Mel. Yes, thank you again. Um, just rethinking my brain, and I think AI is good in its own way. And I mean, there's the effects that is maybe not good, but um, in the fact of AI and cooking, what about the people who are on special diet? Um, people who, like somebody who's on, on their own, like an older, not has to be older person, but incapacitated, and then you know, they can't do for themselves or they're thinking of something the next minute cooking. So AI is there to help. Like, you know, if they have, and most people have gadgets like phones. So it's a good, it's a good idea. If AI, 
demonstrating to them what they can cook, it can help them, right? To me, that's, yes. that's a good side to it. It may have its downside, but um, I mean, it's it, you have to go on your own intuition. You have to use your own thing, right? You know, because if you're cooking, you, you know your your spices, you know your herbs. For me, I like to put my own twist to things, and it tastes real good. So you can have AI help, and you can put your own twist to it and combine. It can probably alternate and make a dish. There goes right. So I'm thinking of, in terms of those things, AI can help. It's not all about AI, but AI can help to make things seamless and faster. Well, why not? True, true. Sounds good to me, Mel, for sure. And uh, in case you were wondering what the noise in the background was, Lynn was jogging in place and um, going like this, etc because we've been up since about 5 a.m uh, eastern standard time uh, we drove close to 300 miles not that that's any big deal uh and uh we're feeling it so uh i don't want to fall asleep so i said okay i'm gonna jog in place and eat a bit and just run and slap 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 my feet so i feel better now well that's good mm -hmm. Maybe that's what I need to do sometimes. I think so. As I drift off <laughs> into Never Never Land. I have to elbow him. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> oh, and speaking of elbows, Chris got his first Lynn Nakamoto elbow today. Chris uh, Johnson. He must have said something that got her going. And she was off to his right. And I believe the elbow went right square into his ribs. So uh, he laughed about it. He thought it was pretty funny. Uh, I at, didn't do that. He just made that up. No, he made that up. That's right. I know. He made that <laughs> up. So let, before I get in any more trouble, let's go to Pat Green, please. Go ahead, Pat. A few years ago, um, I had surgery on my legs, and I was in a physical therapy place, and they locked me into the place. And I had eggs every day for breakfast. I got so Ooh. tired of eggs. I was thinking, you know, the um, AI could help a lot of um, nurses, not nurses, but like nursing homes and physical therapy places and um, hospitals. You know, hospital food isn't always that great either. In those areas, you know, I, I thought, you know, they could be such a blessing with helping them choose different menus, you know, doing different things. And I realized different people have different, you know, um, requirements when you're in a hospital or a, a you know a, a nursing home or a physical therapy place but I was thinking you know um, I got awfully tired of eggs for breakfast <laughs> you know? and I was only in there for about two weeks when I got out that last thing I ate was eggs you know? <laughs> but anyway, yeah. it seemed like every morning that's what they were serving was eggs but, um, and I happen to like eggs, but you can get tired of eating the same thing over and over and over again. So I thought, you know, AI could help, you know, nursing homes and uh, physical therapy places and hospitals for, you know, for people to change, you know, to suggest, especially with all the different types of diets people have to be on when they're sick or in those places, you know, I thought AI could help with all of that. I thought that would be a good thing. One of the big things from what I keep reading about is AI and recipes that mm -hmm. uh, AI can throw out all sorts of ingredients. And, you know, all you got to do is pick and choose whatever you want. And voila, you come up with a concoction that nobody's ever had. It's healthy. And away you go. And uh, thanks to AI. Yeah. So well, uh, I can imagine. Put out of a job there. Right. And I was too, thinking too, Rob, with all of the, you know, some people can eat this, some people can't eat that, you know, because of diabetes or whatever, you know. And it's like AI could help a lot with choosing those menus, like you were saying, recipes. I thought that would be a good thing. That's all I had to say. <laughs> all righty, Daddy, I think it's time for a song. John, what do you think? Have you got one for us tonight? Uh, yes, I do. Can I stick a Are you ready to work? All right, before we get started on the song, uh, Gianna, can you come back? Uh, Chris, come back. And uh, anyone else who can come back, uh, you know it's picture time. Oh, yeah. 
There's Chris. Mohammed Ashraf Ansari, Saidu Sheikh, uh, Gianna. If you want to be in the picture, turn your camera on. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Let's make some excited expressions or happy expressions, some motion. And here we go. I'm going to count to one, two, three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to use that one for the, uh, what do you call that? The thumbnail for today's live stream okay all right all right john i think we're ready for you okay. if you're ready for us okay uh well now tonight uh as i look through the fine songs uh, i thought i'd go back to the 70s again my era of maturity or coming of age or whatever in that period of time uh and uh uh one of my favorite groups and almost every guy in the group individually was uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. And I always put that, and Young, because he wasn't original. Well, they were all individuals, and they all had histories in different uh, uh, musical, you know, venues or groups. And they, and uh, at some point, they came Crosby, Stills, and Nash. And then they added Young. And the, the thing is, he was always kind of, you know, part of the group, but, mm, you know, and even eventually then, well, they all went off on their own. They all did, into, they all did uh, their own songs and their own music on their own. But Neil Young, much more than the other guys, he's, he really was independent, independent thinker, independent guy. So anyway, I'm doing one of his songs tonight uh, of when he was on his own. And it's called, uh, and the reason, uh, well, it's called Heart of Gold. And I thought of this song, it was kind of like trying to think of a song for me, it's for fun tonight to be like the Tin Man, uh, who my whole thing about on passive is I'm the Tin Man and uh, and I have a heart for humanity or whatever. So I, I, I experienced that and I grew to become that is when I thought about, oh, this is what I want to put my mind towards and who I am and on passive. So anyway, uh, this song is called Heart of Gold. Because in the way that I search for my heart, well, now I'm constantly searching for a heart of gold. So here's a song by Neil Young called Heart of Gold. Oh, and I'm getting old. Give me 
reaching for a pot of gold, and I'm getting old. Thank you very much for that, John. We appreciate the song. You, oh wait a minute, we've got Mel still rocking. Let's wait. Let's wait till she finishes rocking. All right, let's let's go to Carmela first, and then we'll wrap up with uh, anyone else who wants to say something, as in Chris T is on as well. Go ahead, Carmela. Hi. <laughs> hey, I wanted to to. To say something, but uh, I don't know why my hand was up. I didn't want you to say nothing, just to say. Well, that's okay. We're glad to say hello to you. Hello, Carmel. <laughs> All right, let's I'm go here. to Christina's. We'll wrap up with all. I, 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 the YouTube, the YouTube uh, gave me back the the everything. Oh, I found it now. Did you dispute? Quickly, you had to say, how did that happen, Carmela? I don't know. It's it suddenly it was uh, disappeared. They sent me a message that I did something wrong, and I answered them that I don't know what they're talking about. And uh, suddenly I have the uh, YouTube back. Yay! They say why? Why do you? They say why do you complain to Rob in life? Maybe the AI listen to me. Maybe the AI listen to me. <laughs> All right. I, I think I got it. I, we better get out of here and go to Chris Tia's own. We're happy for you, Carmela. Yes, we are. Very relieved. That is good stuff, Hello. Carmela. I'm not. Hello. Hmm. Hi. Wait. Hello. Mumbo, hi. Can you hear me? Yes. I am going to share a video, uh, Antolin, uh, could you uh, make me co-host for at least uh, for this purpose? Sure. There you go. And if you know this song by uh, rendition by Frank Rowe, uh, Lisa will give us a, a, a different flavor from what uh, John Barilla uh, uh, sang it's uh, it's a familiar tune uh, uh, both songs are familiar uh, uh, um, heart of gold and uh, i appreciate that here is a uh, frank rose rendition of if you know just sing along
Thank you, Frank. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. That was a Ric Flair for you, Latoya. Woo! Sharon, woo! Uh, Latoya, you coming to the table? Come on, bring it. We want to hear from you. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. If you're not ready, Latoya. Is she here? Are you here, Latoya? No. no. Not here. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, let's go to the Swihart McConaughey household, please. Yeah, I just uh, wanted to say thanks to Frank Rowe for that platter, platter song. That's uh, that's old Motown. I mean, that's in the 60s, I'm sure. That's a very, very old song. So you did it great, uh, Frank. And I'm, I'm kind of guessing that you did a lot of karaoke, maybe. But uh, going back to uh, artificial intelligence in cooking, I mean, it's amazing that the uh, you know the appliances themselves has that stuff built into it to where, and uh, Patricia Green uh, touched on it earlier, where it could actually uh, regulate your temperature and set your timers too, and uh, actually re recommend recipes for folks uh, that are either uh, handicapped or on a dietary restriction. So this is amazing stuff, and I suspect it's only going to get uh, more innovative in the in the future. So. That's all I had, Rod. Thanks. <clears throat> all right. Thank you for that. Uh, Don, did you want to hop on board there or uh, are you done? No, I don't think I have anything else. I... Okay. Yeah. It was it was nice seeing you guys earlier. Yeah. Thank you. Down, it was um, down south. It was a rock and roll kind of day. I mean, we got yeah. there bright and early. As we mentioned, uh, we got there at eight o'clock. We left. We left so early because the traffic on I four, as uh, uh, DL will tell you, can be a freaking nightmare. And uh, it was a nightmare going home. Uh, it took us, I think I mentioned, uh, an hour and fifteen minutes to go the ninety-two miles, which is pretty quick in the morning. But in the afternoon, it took us uh, two and a half hours to get home. So. And we were both ready to nod off. So uh, it was it was a great fun. Good seeing Chris. The energy was just over the chart, over the over the moon. The energy in that room and the screaming back at Marty and, and Red, uh, you know, on the live. Uh, Chris had his new computer there and it really, really resonated People from all this place, this place is huge. This golden uh, corral, wow. it is absolutely huge. It's the one on, uh, I don't know if you know about this one, uh, DL, but it's on uh, Vineland, Vineland uh, Avenue. Uh, Avenue over there, uh, exit 68, 68 on your uh, radio dial. Yeah, that's the one and, that comes off of International Drive. It goes into uh, Interstate 4, correct? Correct, right there. Yeah, you got yep. International Drive at 535, and then you got, uh, which is exit 68, as you know, and then Vineland is at first left. Yeah, so. I just wanted to ask you real quick, uh, if that uh, Marriott Hotel on the corner of International Drive and Vineland is still there, is there still a Marriott on that corner? Do you remember? Yes, yes. Oh, there is? Okay, excellent. I, I thought yeah, so. It's been, uh, let's see, how long I'd say about 33 years since I've been there, but uh, I remember it pretty well. Right. Yeah. Nice place. And that's really Hotel Row along there on International Drive. As you go north from the interstate, there's got to be 20 hotels right there. Right yeah, there. That, that's amazing because uh, if you go north on International Drive, uh, down past Wet and Wild on the right there, it used to go circle around into a route uh, they call it Kirkman Road. It used to be 435, but... Uh, when I was down there, that uh, they were just breaking ground on that Nickelodeon studio there, so uh, that that's where Nickelodeon is now, I presume. So, uh, anyway, thanks, Rob. I'm glad you had a good time. We was watching it today, so we appreciate you. Yeah, we were pumped up. I mean, uh, we started doing the live. We were sitting down, and and I just kept getting more and more pumped up by the enthusiasm of this crowd. You know, it started out at. About 11 o'clock, 10.30, people started strolling in. It was due to start at noon. And uh, as each uh, guest or as each founding member or affiliate came in, you could feel the energy in the room. 
Wouldn't you say so? The energy was beyond belief. And then to have Marty, Red, and Chris do a live right after ours. They did theirs at 1245. It was standing room only. I mean, everybody in the room was standing. Nobody was sitting. And uh, it was electric. just, it was electric. Yeah. It was a good feeling to be in that room and feel that energy and know that this is likely going to be this week will be the start of all big things, mm -hmm. all big things for us all. Very, very much so. Okay. We're going to try to bring Latoya to the uh, panel. I've tried like four times. It'll be my fifth time. I accept, but for some reason she, she gets cut off. It might be her internet. We'll try one more time. It, Latoya, if not, you can try again another night. Okay. If you are, but it'd be my fifth time mm -hmm. trying. Wonder why so she's, see it, she's not coming. Yeah. So we'll try another night. And in the meantime, we'll go to Mel. Go ahead, Mel, Mel. Mercy. Thank you. Um, so let me ask Rabbi Min, was um, Marty present? Uh, no, uh, Marty was uh, in the big recliner there in uh, uh, New Jersey. And Red okay. was in uh, UK. However, uh, Manu came from Portland, Oregon. It took her 10 hours to get there with a layover in Minneapolis. And she leaves at uh, 4 a.m. this morning uh, from Orlando to go back to Portland. I guess she's got to be back to something, her husband or work. Or... And there's uh, Jig Bodhi came from Colorado. Jig Bodhi, who attends all the time with us when she can as a nurse RN and she was on fire that woman she flew in nonstop from Denver Colorado and went from 28 degrees Fahrenheit to about 75 so and she was all pumped up I she you know this is somebody I didn't know who she was a month ago but she's been coming to our show lately you guys all have seen Jake Bodie come to the panel you know the reason why I asked yeah because i'm thinking if it wasn't for ai red being i think he was in saint lucia something or barbados isn't that where he is oh, he's, he's granada in a, he's in a cruise martin is at his home chris is at the conference and so are you guys and you could pull a camera together and show us everything going on if it wasn't for ai would that have happened nope okay it's all about the AI and, and uh, it was, you know, re, you know, that, what was it? AT&T used to have that phrase, reach out and touch someone. Today was a reach out and touch someone moment. And uh, I don't know how many hundreds were on Marty. And, you know, we had about a hundred, I guess, on our little shindig. We did the live. We've never done, I've never done with Lynn a, uh, a Facebook live. So I didn't know what to expect. But then she hands me the phone, and I'm walking around with the phone, not saying anything, and we're live. And I'm saying, honey, you're doing a live. You have to pay attention. You so I, I paid closer attention. And then I started interviewing people and finding out where they're from, why they're in on passive, what, what in the world are you doing in Orlando? And it just went on and on. We normally do, as everybody here knows, 15 minutes of straight talk, and that's it. 40, I think one 40, time you were getting tired, Rob. I noticed you tell Lynn, where is Lynn? <laughs> She's all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> we were watching well, you. <laughs> yeah, I, I wondered where in the world she was. And then she, I see her sitting down with these three ladies, uh, Dr. Lisa Lee from uh, Jacksonville, Florida, and uh, Jig Bodhi from Colorado. And who else was at the table with you guys? Delisa. Delisa was there. Yeah, Delisa. She was in another table, yeah. But everybody was huddled together like, wow, this is a party. And everybody kept saying it was a party atmosphere. People are feeling right now after what Ash said yesterday and days gone by that this is our week. Okay? Roll out of the withdrawals. Yeah. Uh, new week, products. Next week, yeah. Double yeah. Yeah, next week. Yeah. Well, next week is here. I mean, day after tomorrow. Okay. Uh, 
I don't know. I, I just, you know. It's happening, you guys. Yeah. I feel like we're ascending to the top of the mountain right now. That's how good I feel about things today. Yay. And <laughs> are you excited? If you're excited, do an Andy Bird. Andy Bird. It's a W. A w it's a w. W. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, a W. There we go. It's a W. Keep your hands up. I'm up. Keep your hands up if you can. Okay. Here we go. It's a W. Wait, I have to use one. Oh, I can't do the W, but you can. One, two, three. Chris, where's your W? John, where's your W? For the uh, Greg, make a W. Greg, make a W. He does one arm. Okay. Ready, set, go. One, two, three. Now. Yeah. That's nice. All right. That's in deference to Andy Burks, the W guy. Yay! And, uh, Man, I, I, I keep going back to this about the electricity. We got electricity here every night, too. Uh, I hope we all get to meet sometime soon. Uh, I don't know where that'll be, when that'll be. But I think the, if this group gathers in a room, it'll be, be as electric as today was. I don't think there's any doubt about it. Yeah. And what's exciting is Chris is going around the nation. So everybody who's in the U.S. will have an opportunity to have a meetup, you know, with Chris and everybody else. It'll be fun. There's somebody coming in, maybe. Okay, excuse me. Let's go back. Go back to Don. Go ahead. DL, go ahead. Don yeah, I just wanted to say uh, real quick, uh, uh, Rob, that um, my uh, younger brother lives up there in Brooksville. So it's just north of Tampa, obviously, as you know. Uh, I plan to come down uh, sometime, hopefully in the spring, to be able to see him. I'd like to be able to touch base with you, with uh, Don with me as well, and uh, see if we can connect. Go ahead. Once again, I was muted. Uh, you get to Brooksville, we're connecting. I guarantee it. I get to Brooksville, no sweat. That's Highway 50. I know it well. Okay, I appreciate that. We'll uh, certainly make that happen because uh, I've been wanting to go down and see him here uh, for a while now. So it, it's a good trip stuff. that's in the spring for sure. Good stuff. Very good. Thanks, Rob. I know you're a vet, so me too. We've got a lot to talk about. Yeah, man. I'm I'm looking forward to that, brother. I'm looking forward to that. Very nice. And uh, let's go right now to Greg Lake. And Greg, go ahead, brother. Are you there? Yeah, Greg I'm, I'm mute. Yeah. Um, yeah. With all um, ATP's money, they have fucking no brains. They, oh, 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 wait, wait. This is a family show. Try oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. They, um, 18P in Hardwick before the storm and the flood, but I had power here. But no, 18P is out in Berlin, closest in the closest I, in town, which is eight miles away, but not here. You know. Um, well, hopefully they'll was, get to you tonight or tomorrow, brother. Brother. No, I need to go to town and have um this phone with me. But otherwise, um, it won't work. All right, we'll try to get that done this week if you can. That'd be good. Well, That'd be good. I'm still, there was something uh, you said was being sent to me. I haven't checked today's mail, but I'll go out right after this and check it, brother. I know my, my one um, founder is, um, has trained to send you um, money to um, um, get in um, the founder. I mean, uh, unpassive. Oh, connect. Linda Anderson. As I see that, I'll take care of it. We'll convert it to a cash app and we'll uh, 
Uh, it's a lady, right, if I remember right? Yeah. Okay. We'll get it taken care of. As soon as that uh, money order comes in, I'll make sure we make, get, it, get it going. We check every day. It just hasn't arrived yet. Right. It may have come today, and I don't know it, but I will check. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, it looks like a, Latoya has landed now. Ooh. Go ahead, Latoya. It's tough to bring you in today, Latoya. I don't know why. But we're glad you're here. You go ahead and speak now. You'll be our last speaker tonight. If you can, unmute. You are unmuted, but we don't hear you. Okay. I Can you hear me? Woo! Yes. yes. Did it. Yay, <laughs> <Can you hear? laughs> Okay, so, so um, but I get what Don is saying because we're um, you're kind of going in and out. It's very difficult to hear you today. You're going in and out. Are you there? You're kind of unintelligible, Latoya. We can't make out what you're saying tonight. You want to try tomorrow? You can give your message to us tomorrow. Maybe your internet will be better today. It's uh, you're unintelligible. We're sorry. Oh, I think she already got booted. Oy vey. Yeah, she's trying so hard, but her internet. All right. Well, bad. we'll we'll hook up with Latoya tomorrow evening or or uh, Monday for sure. Yeah. Uh, that's about it from here. And, uh, Thanks. we have gratitude very much. So to, uh, Ash Mafara, he was instrumental in all of us being there today. So thank you, Ash. Thank you. We appreciate, we love you, brother. And, uh, we'll see you at the new top brother. And thank you to everyone here today. Those in the chat, those who are just quietly watching and those on the panel, we appreciate each and every one of you. And we'll see you on a regular schedule of Straight Talk at noon Eastern Time and Roblin Live at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Love to all. Salute to all veterans, no matter what country you love serve. Love you all. We love you right back. Good and night. salute Good night. to all. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Thank you, all the veterans. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and Chris was crying. <laughs> he wasn't ready to go yet. We love you, brother. <laughs> Thanks, Francis. Thanks to all. Can you guys hear me? Don't forget yeah. to stay the chat. Okay. okay. Yeah, you all were buffering too. And I know you guys are headed out. So um, I'm glad we're having glitches. That means good things are happening. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I met somebody today who knows you without going into any detail. I think you know who I'm talking about. It wasn't my dad? I had to talk to him about going to the event. I wasn't supposed to tell who it was. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. it was your dad. We had a good oh, time yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah, he was there. He was there. Yeah, he was okay, okay. Yeah, he had so, a lot of smiles today. So um, I don't. I was gonna say, um, Rob, I might need to get your help um, setting a WhatsApp group for for me. I want to get a group together for um, specifically for founders for me to help them travel because I heard we're sharing a lot of travel plans um, going on. Uh, so I was gonna say, hey, what would be the best way for founders to reach me? Um, I don't do WhatsApp too much. I feel that there's always a lot of drama, <laughs> so I kind of. I is. shy away from that, but um, I know that you can do a business WhatsApp. So um, if you, somebody can help me set up a WhatsApp for my uh, my booking agency, so uh, founders can get a first crack at me helping them with their problem. Yeah, Does that work? All right. Well, thanks. We appreciate that. And uh, I'm glad you got the sound worked out. That's good <laughs> stuff. Uh, I'm not oh, the... Oh, uh, did you guys hear that? Okay. Yeah, I'm not the go-to oh, guy. And then, okay. Go ahead. Okay, no problem, no problem. And then what I was going to say about AI and cooking, 
I'm on, I kind of see where Don is coming from because like I mentioned, I'm a, a therapist. So I do uh, mental health and emotional behavioral health therapy. And one of my friends, a young girl who babysits my kids for me pretty frequently, uh, she's a young adult, she just turned 18, but a little while ago she was talking to me about how they're doing um, some AI type therapy. Like you're just, you know that you're talking to an AI chatbot to do therapy. And I was actually on the fence. I wasn't sure that I was, I wasn't sure how I felt about that either. You know, so um, I understand what it's like to be like, hmm, what does that look like for somebody who actually does the job? And my opinion was for, for that, the AI, the therapy and for cooking, my thought is, is that that's not gonna be it for me. I'm not gonna do that. And I'm also not gonna say, hey, I think that's a good idea either because I wouldn't tell anybody to do something that I wasn't you know, fully you know, behind. But if that's what they chose to do, yeah, more power to you. But I'm gonna keep my cooking, um, you know, on paper, <laughs> you know, recipes, and you know, asking good advice from people. And then um, with the, uh, I work in hospital settings, and um, familiar with those uh, places where you get uh, where you're living, and then you're also getting your medical treatment. And those menus, as bad as they are, I hate to say it, they're created by dietitians. <laughs> Um, but the good news is, is that the dietitians can use the AI to um, improve their own, you know, um, technically it's like a prescription, it's like a medical nutrition, medically nutritious diet. So they could use the AI to help, you know, make sure that the, the diets and the menus that they're coming up with are 100% um, nutritious. And then the last thing I was going to say is that um, I remember uh, Don mentioned um, storing things in, um, uh, storing dry goods in jars, and we also uh, briefly mentioned uh, uh, freezer storage. You can freeze glass mason jars, you can put them in the freezer, but you have to buy the specific kind that the ones that are all the way straight down, all the way. There's some that kind of, they call them shoulders, have the shoulder so they're rounded at the top. Those are not good for freezing, but the ones that go straight up and down are good for freezing. One of my friends who's a baker, she has her own bake cookie company, she mentioned that on one of her posts. And I was like, oh, wow, isn't that interesting? <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think that was it. Thank you. OK, thank you. Appreciate you being here. Yeah. And it was our pleasure to meet up with your pops. It was good stuff today. All right. Thank you. Everybody. We're, uh, we're going to roll. Uh, probably going to roll right into uh, Night Night Land here pretty quickly. And uh, we'll see everybody that can make it tomorrow at 12 noon. Oh, I think Mel oh. is waving. Oh, you're waving. Go ahead, Mel. Sorry. I'm always waving goodbye. <laughs> oh, I thought you said you wanted to talk. No, sorry. Okay. All right. <laughs> we'll see everybody at the next roundup there. Bye, everybody. Take care. Good night. And salute Bye. all. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.